Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have explained in detail about the mathematical intuition and MATLAB implementation of age detection, right? And in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important property of age detection, which you need to take care of when you are using image processing in real time projects. Okay, and that is noise reduction. Let me first show you one simulation. CLC clear all causal winding off as we generated right. Then I am taking one signal. I am plotting that. Okay. This is signal without noise. Let me just run this particular section and I will be getting this kind of part. See, you can clearly understand here this is zero. Then it is kind of taking like ramp and then here again it is saturating. I am calculating differentiation and plotting that and giving title differentiation of signal without noise okay so see perfect differentiation we are getting as differentiation of ramp is unit step here we are getting like that right now what we will do we will add little noise in this okay on the same signal i have added noise using random okay then plotting that and calculating differentiation now if i just run the whole code what i will be getting see four outputs we will be getting so this is my signal without noise as I have shown earlier. This is the corresponding derivative. But this is signal with noise. And you can clearly understand what it is happening. That it is uh, this signal with noise due to presence of noise. We are not getting good idea of the derivative. Okay. That is noise is hampering our differentiation. Right. And this is quite obvious. Okay. Because differentiation is nothing but high pass filtering, which I have already discussed in my previous videos of filters. You can go and explore the link I'll be providing in the description box. All the high pass filters are basically nothing but differentiator. And if you apply high pass filter, what will happen? That most of the time, noise is high frequency component. So noise will easily pass. So as a result, in the output side, noise power will not decrease. But due to application of high pass filter, original signal power always decreases because you are attenuating the low frequency part of your original signal, right? So as a result, overall signal power reduces. So the SNR decreases due to application of high pass filter or differentiator, right? I hope you can understand. That's why I have uploaded this video why integrator is preferred over differentiator. If you go through the, if you just go through this particular video, you can understand in detail much way. Okay. So what we have understood from this particular visualization that noise is affecting my differentiation. Now, whatever image we get in practical scenario, it is not like that. It is going to be smooth without any noise all time, right? Many times we might get noisy image. And now if you just apply differentiation on that, you will be getting like this kind of noisy data. And here, see, Deciding the threshold and deciding the edges or where intensity change is present is difficult to calculate, right? So here you can easily understand this is nothing but kind of intensity plot. Okay, sudden change in intensity we are getting, but corresponding derivative is not giving us much idea because here we cannot decide the proper threshold due to presence of noise. So this is what affects the practical noisy data edge detection also okay so that's what i am going to discuss noise reduction in edge detection okay so you have to reduce the amount of noise so what we do suppose i am having the intensity plot like this here you can clearly understand here basically our uh, age is present because intensity change we are getting but this is noisy data so to remove the noise, I will pass this original image via low pass filter. Okay, here I am just showing in one direction. Suppose x, x direction intensity change, you have to apply the same in y direction also. So Gaussian cardinal I am using already discussed that Gaussian filter acts like low pass filter. So this low pass filter will smooth this signal and will be getting like this. And then we can differentiate this signal and see here we are getting the change. Now we can adjust the threshold and get the edges, right? Cool. So how to implement this thing in MATLAB? So if you just go through the documentation, find edges in intensity image here in the 
documentation if you just go below here you can control the sigma parameter okay in case of kenny edge detection i am discussing it will basically apply one gaussian filter and gaussian filter one of the major properties standard deviation as i have already discussed so you can control the standard deviation and in terms it will control the noise okay if you keep very high value of standard deviation then the filter will smooth our image by a huge amount as a result there will be huge noise reduction okay if you keep your standard deviation small that time there will be lesser amount of noise reduction you need to adjust the sigma according to your own now let me show you this in image okay so clc clearal close all i am taking one noisy image and showing that okay first let me show the noisy image and this is my noisy image okay you can clearly understand that here edge is present but the image is quite noisy now what we are doing we are using edge function and kenny edge detection we are doing i am not specifying the threshold part threshold part let matlab decide what i am controlling i am controlling the standard deviation okay initially i am taking 10 okay let me just take one more case where i will not decide the standard deviation right so like this i will write and here it goes so first i am taking one image where i am not at all uh, changing or hampering the value of the sigma okay not controlling the low pass filtering part and then i am taking sigma as 10 and then taking sigma as 30. now if i just run this whole code see what output we will be getting we will be getting four images and if you just observe this is our original noisy image on which we want to apply edge detection but if we simply pass the edge function with Kenny as edge detection method we will be getting this kind of noisy edge detected output now what we are doing then we are basically applying Gaussian filter to reduce the noise present in our original image and here we are getting this one for the sigma value specified as 10 and this is sigma value specified as 30 you can clearly understand we are getting better and better edge detected output if you are increasing the sigma because increasing sigma means you are reducing the noise by a much amount right so this particular noise reduction you need to take care of otherwise it will hamper the edge detected output okay this is what i wanted to discuss one of the very important parameter this is all for my this video thank you for watching